Finally, it happened to me, and it's gonna happen to you. I'm making gluten-free waffles today. You guys have been waiting and asking and begging and bleeding me on Instagram forever to give you my waffle recipe, and today, I'm finally sharing it. Yes, they're egg-free, they're dairy-free, they're vegan. They're everything free you want them to be, but they're also insanely delicious. So, so let's get to it. Okay guys, get your waffle makers ready. One of the most common questions I get asked all the time is what kind of waffle maker do I use? Because if you guys see me on Instagram or anywhere on social media, you know I'm the queen of waffles and especially waffle cakes. But to be honest, you can use whatever waffle maker floats your boat. Today I'm using a Belgian waffle maker, but I own like a bunch at home. So really whatever you wanna do works. So just make sure to turn on your waffle maker before you start this recipe, but we're gonna get into it. So first, let's talk about the flour mix. There's four flours in these waffles. Garbanzo bean, tapioca, sweet rice flour, brown rice flour, and you combine them all together to get this tasty waffle. And as most of you guys already know, you need a bunch of flours to make one ultimate flour in gluten-free cooking. So that's what we're doing today, but you're gonna be really happy about it. So we have our gluten-free flour mix, half cup of each flour, so that's two cups total. Then we're gonna throw in our baking powder and our coconut oil which is a half a cup, and our vanilla extract. And then I'm gonna put in some honey, but you can pretty much use any sugar you want in these. It totally works. I'm just a like fan of honey, but whatever floats your boat works. And some apple cider vinegar, which is gonna help it rise all nice like we want it to. And then some non-dairy milk. I am using almond milk but you can use any non-dairy milk that you love. And just make sure that your milk is warm, okay? We don't want the coconut oil to get hard or these waffles won't turn out right. So just heat up your milk a little bit before you use it. And then we're gonna throw in some salt. I love pink sea salt, which I've talked about before you guys because it has so many minerals in it. So anytime you can eat pink sea salt, your body's gonna love you back. Okay, now we're gonna whisk it all up. Okay, you guys, once you got it all good and whisked up, then you're gonna put it in your waffle maker. Make sure you spray your waffle maker so that your waffles do not stick. I like to spray mine with coconut oil spray because it's healthier for you. I also love to use soup ladles because they're kind of always the perfect amount of uh, batter that you wanna put in your waffle maker. Like, it's just really easy to scoop it in there. So you're gonna pour it in there. Mine flips, cause I have a kind that flips and mine has a timer. But you know, it really doesn't matter which kind you have, just either follow the lights or follow the timer. Don't ever think you're smarter than waffle maker. I already gave you guys a lecture on this when I made chocolate waffles and my chocolate waffle cake. So if you wanna watch that video, make sure to check the show notes, okay? Cause that one was an awesome one. So we're gonna let this cook. And you guys, the recipe I'm making today is kind of a basic recipe, but I'm gonna add a few things in there in a moment and you'll see how you can jazz it up. Okay, you guys, our waffle is done. Let's check this baby out. There it comes, <laughs> flopping down down. Okay, I'm gonna put this on a plate. But guess what, you guys? Now I'm gonna show you how to make blueberry waffles because blueberry waffles are so yummy and so tasty. So I'm gonna throw in about a cup of blueberries. And if you were making the full size recipe, you'd wanna do the same thing. I like to use fresh blueberries, but if you want to um, use frozen, you can. It sometimes adds a little bit more liquid, so you don't want them to freeze too much. But there's, you can use either way. So we're gonna cook up this blueberry waffle too. You guys, I just wanna remind you that 
do not substitute other flours in this recipe. It's not gonna work. I know you're gonna want to, but don't do it, okay? Just use the four I talked about. Garbanzo, tapioca, sweet rice flour, and brown rice flour. If you don't use those flours, then this recipe gets all mixed up, okay? So just remember, use the ones I told you to. Okay, I think the blueberry waffle's done. Blueberry amazingness! How excited are you guys? I am so excited. Time to put on some toppings. I'm gonna drizzle it with some maple syrup for my little elephant friend. And putting on some coconut oil, cause that's always tasty on there. Spread that around. And then I'm gonna top it with some extra blueberries. And then guess what guys? We're gonna try this baby. How excited are you? I'm excited. Okay guys, it's time. I'm gonna get into this double stacked waffle business. Let's take a bite right now. Mmm, 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 mmm. I love these, you guys. They're soft, they're fluffy, they're everything you want from a waffle, so make them at home. You can check the show notes for the recipe and links to all sorts of stuff about me. Check out my website too, glutenfreewithemily.com and please subscribe to my videos so I can keep bringing you guys awesome recipes, which I love to do. Also, leave a comment if you're excited about waffles. I'll see you guys later.